Hi everyone, welcome to this sermon. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for this moment. As we look onto your word, may you be with us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today we are going to look at the at the Samaritan woman and Jesus from the book of John, chapter 4. Jesus was on the way from Judea to Galilee. On his way, he passed through Samaria. He was tired from a long walk and sat beside the well. It was about noon time, and a Samaritan woman came to draw water. Jesus asked her to give a, to give him a drink or water. He was alone. The disciples had gone to buy some food. The woman refused to give him water because he was a Jew and not a Samaritan. That means Samaritans and Jew were not sharing anything. Jesus told her if she had given him water, he would have given her the living water. She was confused by his statements and started asking him questions for better understanding. She just wanted to know what Jesus was talking about and what this living water was. Jesus said, whoever drinks the water he provides, he will never be thirsty unlike the normal or natural water from the well. The woman asked him to give her the living water so that she will never be thirsty and she will never come to the well again. But Jesus told her, go home, come with your husband. But she didn't have one. And Jesus told her, it's true. You don't have one. You have been married by five husbands. And the one you are living with, you are not married with him. Uh, we say that she had been married by five husbands and she was living with her boyfriend. She started suspecting who Jesus was. And she was like, you must be a prophet. On the process of their communication, he told her that <clears throat> the time has come, which was now, which was the which was on that time they, they were talking, to worship the Father in spirit and truth. And God was looking for those who are worshiping in spirit and truth. The woman told him that. The Messiah will come and explain everything to them. Now here, still, she hasn't known who Jesus is and who this or who this man was. But Jesus finally told her he was the one. She left the child beside the well and went to the village to tell them what had just happened to her. They all came to the well to be sure what the woman was saying, it's true. That means they were suspecting the woman and never believed that, the, that anything can happen like that. Now, as we have read all the summary, or as we have had the summary from, the, from, the, from chapter 4, the Jesus and the Samaritan woman, what have you learned today? Come all, meet the man of God. Down by the well, there is a Jew, like a prophet, telling you all your deeds. Never think or don't think that anything you do in this world is hidden. Yes, it might be, yes, it's hidden by human. Or humanly, it's hidden. But heavenly, nothing is hidden. Everything is on the table. Christ, Christ knows everything you do. He knows all your deeds. So if you think you are hiding, 
nothing you are hiding from God. You are not sure if he is the Messiah, a prophet, an angel, or whoever he is. Because you don't know. You have not given him fully time. But once you give him the time, once you, once you let him come to you, once you let him speak to you, you will know who he is. Yes, he is the Messiah. Come see him. Come and meet him, for he is an angel. He is a prophet. He is the spring of life. He is the spirit. Come, he will pray for you. He will show you wonders. He will show you, he will show you miracles. They saw the angel miracles in him and they believed in him. Immediately as the woman went, tell the villagers, they all came to the well. They all came to the well to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, when Jesus talked to them, they immediately knew he was the Messiah. Because they saw gospel miracles in him and they obeyed him. He is the savior of the world. He is your savior. He is my savior. Believe in him. Trust in him. Follow him and he will change you as the Samaritan woman was changed. As the Samaritan was changed. What are you waiting for? Thank you. Let's pray. Father in Jesus' name, may you touch our hearts so that we can be reformed as the Samaritan woman reformed father. May we know that our, our deeds are not hidden further from you. You all know our deeds. Kindly, Father, forgive us. Come to us. Give us the living water. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May God bless you. Thank you.